President Trump and attorneys general in 19 states want the Supreme Court to invalidate the electoral votes of four states President-elect Joe Biden won. President Trump is seeking the court's permission to join the effort led by Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton. Paxton is challenging changes to the voting process in Georgia, Michigan, Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania. Legal experts say the case is a long shot, but if granted, it could end up flipping the state's electoral votes to President Trump, changing the outcome of the election. Election. The Supreme Court would first need to agree to hear the case. The four states have until 3 o'clock Eastern today to respond to the filings. Michigan's Attorney General says she doesn't think the court will hear the case because the issues have already been litigated. You have the Texas AG trying to disenfranchise the, the votes of some 39 million people who live in these four other states that the Texas AG does not represent. 21 million people voted in those states. Each and every one of those states, of course, is a state that went for Joe Biden. And yet the Texas AG is seeking to set aside all that and to allow to have our Republican legislature basically substitute their votes for that of those millions and millions of people who voted in their states and overturn the will of the people.